Hey there, in today's video, we are going to set up a custom email using your custom domain. So here is what I mean. For example, now I have a domain called wbhowtosite.com and for some reason I want to set up uh, an email address like using uh, hello or hi at wbhowtosite.com. So here is what we're going to do. But first of all, I need to mention that my operating system is at the moment Mac OS X using Yosemite uh, operating system. Now the process will be a little bit uh, different with uh, another versions, I guess, but uh, not so much different. And with, with with uh, Windows operating system, I guess, uh, almost similar with another application. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, we need to log into our cPanel and I've already done so. Here I see my cPanel home. But if you haven't done so, you can just uh, add uh, behind your domain, just add the forward slash and then type in cPanel. Okay, and then hit enter. And this will redirect you to the uh, login to your cPanel page. And uh, obviously here you need to type in your username and password. So I've done already. So let me close this. And now I am on my uh, cPanel home. So next is we're going to find here in the find sections, type in on mail. So there it is in mail sections and we see on email accounts. Just click on that. Now, as you can see, I haven't created any email address here, but if you have uh, created an email address, you can see here later on in the configuring uh, webmail. So uh, let's, let us now um, create another email address. So let's say now my email address would be like hello and then at wbhowtosite.com and then the password would be uh, my password. So you, you're going to remember this password or write it down somewhere that letter you will not forget it so there it is now I have already typed on my password so next is I'm going to check on mailbox quota to unlimited so let me check this and then now I'm going to hit on create account button to create one so you might receive some pop-ups like uh, asking you if you need the help to set it up so uh, for me, at the moment, I'm just going to close this because I want to set it up manually myself. So uh, if we scroll down, as you can see, we have email address here. So now we need to set up uh, this email address to our mail applications. So anytime you uh, want to check this email, you, need, you don't need to log into your cPanel. So let's uh, open mail. So open mail in your operating system. At the moment, I'm opening, uh, opening mail here. As you can see, I have mail here. But some reason, if for example here you already have another email account set up, what you need to do to add this, uh, to see these uh, options is you go to mail and then accounts and then it will open your uh, system preferences. And then you're going to scroll down and there is uh, same options here like add other account. So uh, because now I haven't created any other email address here, so uh, let me uh, check this at other email account for the first time. So here I'm just going to click on continue button. And here I'm going to type in my uh, name. So for the email address, we need to type something. So uh, email address, we need to type this. So copy this and then go back again and paste it here. And the password is obviously the password we type in here and hit on create button so now it will be um, so we will be prompt to manually configure it and click next and here we need to uh, know the imap or the pop setting so here is what we're going to do minimize this again and here is uh, the configuration so select the email address that you have and then here in the more and arrow button click that and then check uh, click on configure email client. Select that and click. So here actually you can uh, have this auto configuration scripts but uh, somehow 
I find that this auto configuration script sometimes doesn't work so that's why I always prefer uh, setting it manually so if you scroll down you will see manual settings and you can read this uh, if you like and then what I'm going to focus is that the gray background here and this is the recommended setting and this is what we're going to use so I'm going to uh, uh, go back to my mail setting again and I'm going to click on pop setting here and here we're going to type on mail server so I'm going to look where mail server is and this is it the incoming mail server copy this and go to mail again and paste it here and make sure that there is no space or any other characters and then the username would be our email address copy this and go to the mail and paste it here and then the password the same password and then click next button for the outgoing mail server info this is it the outgoing server so I'm going to copy this and go back to our mail and paste it here and then the username will be our email address again copy and paste it here and the password so make sure that there is no space or any other characters and hit create so that was it actually as easy as uh, it was and we already set it up already in our mail application and to test it we're going to minimize this and let's log into our gmail account so i've already logged in here so i'm just going to go to gmail and here i'm going to compose an email so i'm just going to send to myself basically hello and then at wbhowtosite.com and my subject will be test one and then test one content and I'm just going to hit send and the message has been sent so let's open our mail so now uh, I'm going to go to inbox and then right click it and then get new email from this email address now if it doesn't um, respond or it doesn't show your email then you may wait a little bit more but if you cannot wait just close it so mail and then quit mail and then open mail again and then it will automatically receive your email as you can see now it's receiving email from this uh, gmail account so let's now test it to uh, compose email from mail so I'm going to uh, my gmail address so I'm test user at this address and I'm just going to uh, type in reply one and for the content I receive the email okay and then send it and then it will be sent in the send tab there it is I received the mail so let's check it to uh, our gmail so here is the gmail and then go to inbox and there it is now from our name just click that and then as you can see now I received the email and from this email address that we've just set up earlier so that's it now you have your email from your custom domain every time you will need to check your email you don't need to go to cpanel just open your mail and then you will receive and send it from here so i hope it will be helpful for some people and please like this video if it was useful for you and thank you so much for watching and take care of yourselves see you in the next video goodbye